Alrighty, so in previous videos, we have looked at how to enter register transactions, payments, deposits. We've looked at entering contributions and creating uh, batch deposits from donations that you've received. And now we just looked at how to enter a bill and pay that off through accounts payable. So now what we're gonna do is look at everybody's favorite entry screen, which is called journal entry. This is the one that you've probably accidentally clicked on at some point and then went cross-eyed and got scared and then went away because you're not sure what in the world is happening on this screen. If that's the case, no worries. Uh, journal entry is actually not super difficult to use. And actually, once you get the hang of it, it is actually uh, pretty easy to help you kind of decide what's happening in your accounting transactions. So uh, I'm going to preface this by saying I'm not going to get into the nuts and bolts of debits and credits and account balancing right now. What I'm going to do is kind of just explain what the screen can do. And then we have a whole nother video that goes through the nuts and bolts of debits and credits and kind of how you would do it. But let me just uh, say that you typically will not need to use the journal entry screen. Uh, most organizations have really no need of using this screen because we have these other entry screens here. Your register screen is used for any transaction that's gonna come in and out of a bank or a credit card account. Accounts payables for bills, receivables for invoices. Integration will help you put money into your register. And that's about all you're gonna to need to do. So journal entry is then left for kind of nuanced type things and or correction type entries. So for instance, if you have a transaction that does not impact the bank account or is a bill or is a receivable, you would then enter that in the journal entry screen. So one of the most common examples is something like depreciation. You have a fixed asset account that needs to be depreciated over time. So you need to hit the accumulated depreciation account and depreciation expense. Neither of those are, they're not bank accounts, it's not a bill, it's not anything, it's just simply an accounting entry that is required to keep your accounting data up to date. But it's weird, it's just kind of a one-off one. So that's what a journal entry would be used for. You can also use it for correcting entries. So let's say that you had accidentally posted a uh, transaction into an account, uh, like an expense account, and you wanna go back in and reclassify that to a different expense account. Now in Applos, you can actually go back to the transaction and make the change on the source transaction itself. But if you wanted to do some sort of adjustment entry instead so that you leave the original the way that it is and then just post the correction, you can do use journal entry for that. Uh, at the end of the day, any entry that you post, no matter if it's in another screen or anything, is always some sort of journal entry. It's always balancing by debit and credit. It's just whether or not we uh, kind of make that front and center on the entry screen itself. So it's all in balance. Don't worry about that, you accountants out there. Every entry that you put into Applos is a essentially a balanced journal entry, but this journal entry specific screen is just kind of used for one-off things. So again, there's a whole other video that goes through that in detail and shows you how to work the debits and credits. Uh, but for right now, we'll just kind of end there and I'll mention a couple of other things that you can do on this screen. You can enter a journal entry. So that's gonna be your entry screen here. You can also do a fund transfer. So if you wanted to take money from one fund to the other, you can post that there. Again, the cash is not changing. Uh, the There's no bill. All you're doing is basically saying, I'm taking $100 from fund A to fund B. That's where you can do that type of transfer. You can also import payroll from one of these systems listed here or you can import journal entries using a template that you can download there. Just keep in mind that this template has to be followed exactly, and it's got to balance by debit and credit, and also debit and credit by fund. But again, we can help do that for you and or coach you through that when needed. But that is the journal entry screen.